and welcome back to Lantern Corps videos. And this one comes to us from Satori Tayo. If I got that wrong, I apologize. You have a question, and this was actually an interesting one when I actually thought about it. What Lantern Corp does Professor Oak belong to, into? Well, hello there. Are you a boy or a girl? Uh, now, obviously, Professor Oak is the main professor of the Pokemon games. When you think about it, he was the OG, the original uh, professor. And he's been around since pretty much the original uh, first episode. He continually shows up. Uh, he's always been supportive, very nurturing, and he's constantly trying to uh, help Ash when he can. Always getting new information, always curious about the new things. So, what Lantern Court does a guy like this belong into? Now, I mean, you might be thinking, oh, he's a protagonist. Well, he's a protagonist, or he's like a good person, well, like Will or something like that. Uh, but I'm like, well, not really. Professor Oak doesn't really have any su really super strong showcases of willpower. Not to say he's weak and will or anything like that, but it's not like a defining trait of his. So what else could it be? And I came down to four options, and so I, it's very interesting when I think about it, and I'm curious to hear your thoughts as well. But um, first and foremost, we have, and this is a weird one, the White Lantern Corps. So what is the White Lantern Corps? The White, the White Lantern Corps is the Lantern Corps of life. Obviously black is death, but white is life. And to be a qualifier for the Lantern Corps life, you have to A, be alive, um, B, and B, nurture life, protect life. Well, it's obviously a ring that's not really good at killing, uh, but every, it can pretty much do anything the other rings can. So then the question becomes, I mean, well, how do you, how do you express nurturing life? You also have to become a slave to the embodiment of life, so, but whatever. Uh, how do you basically... Uh, it, define the nurturing of life well i mean what does professor oak do he's taking care of pokemon all day like he's totally for pokemon conservation discovering new species taking care of them you know raising raising uh, pokemon and giving them new trainers he's all about the you know the nurturing of life in many ways so it, it's actually pretty interesting how he can kind of qualify for life now is he maybe the best candidate for life no there's better candidates out there but still it's not i think unreasonable to say yeah i i think he um i think he would qualify for life uh, another one i think that he could qualify for is hope because what does the professor of every region do well almost every almost the, the professor of almost every region uh do uh because it's it is Professor Oak gives you your starter. Uh, Professor Elm gives you your starter. Professor Birch gives you a starter. Rowan gives you his, his starter. Juniper gives a starter. But then you get into Kalos. Uh, Kalos, you don't get the starter from him. Uh, he may have maybe dropped him off, I think, but you don't get the, star, uh, the starter from him. Um, Kiwe, or not, uh, Professor uh, Kukui. Um, I don't think you actually get the starter from him. I think you get it from Hala. And then you don't get the starter from the professor in the Kalos or the Galar region either. So yeah, you don't always get the starter from the professor, but more than usual, you get the starter from the professor. And Oak's no exception. And what is he doing? He's giving new hope to trainers to become great Pokemon trainers. He's he inspires hope through that. So uh, everyone becomes so excited and hopeful that you know what the Pokemon that Oak is going to give them. Uh, now, again, is it the best example of hope? Maybe not. But also, uh, he's also keeps his, a lot of his faith in Ash, in, uh, you know, in the protagonist of the game. So I, I, you could definitely make an argument for hope, I think. One that I don't think he really qualifies for, but should be addressed, is Avarice. Now, why is that? Well, Oak's never really satisfied with any discovery. When you think about it, it's like he always wants to learn more, always wants to discover more. Um, he always want, He's always fascinated to hear about new Pokemon and all that. He, he's never truly satisfied when you think about it. And that is kind of the telltale sign of avarice, at least, or at least a qualification for avarice. But at the same time, he goes through his life very contently. He's always excited about new discoveries, but he's not, he's not truly greedy or he doesn't have, truly have avarice in that sense. I don't think he'd really qualify for the Orange Lantern Corps, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, but I do think it's still interesting to note that. But last but not least, the last one I think he could qualify for is the Indigo League of Compassion. If nothing else, Oak is a very compassionate individual, always there to give advice, always there to lend a helping hand. 
he, he cares very much about everyone and he's always there to lend his support. Uh, and I think, I mean, if that's not compassion, I don't know really what is. So the question is of the, th the big three I kind of did, the life, the compassion and the uh, hope, which one do I think is the most um, uh, likely? Well, to disqualify them right off the bat, I want to say that hope is probably the least uh, likely. Not to say it's not possible, but again, it, he, he there is a level of hope that he holds out for, uh, or hold, holds out for. There's a level of hope that he inspires with others, and then there's a level of faith that he has. And while those are both well, fine and good, again, he's often just going about his routine day to day when it comes to you know his life, and therefore it's not like he constantly keeps his faith it's not like religion or anything like that. He doesn't, he doesn't see Ash as like, you know, Messiah or anything like that. So I, I hope again, possible, but probably the least likely of the two is then you have compassion, you have life and my money honestly is probably going to be on compassion. Life, I think is not a bad qualifier, but I think compassion just ultimately wins out in the end. Uh, the reason for that just being that he's clearly shown the more grandfatherly, almost fatherly type of compassion and uh, reserve uh, reservation for Ash and company that uh, you would see in someone who would be a qualifier for the Indigo League of Compassion. I think it's pretty much Oaks um, Oaks uh, Lantern Corp. I think he's just I, I think it just fits him the best. So if you want my opinion, I know you didn't ask for it, but you got it anyway. I think Oak would be an Indigo Lantern. But what do you think? Do you think Oak would be an Indigo Lantern, White Lantern? Blue Lantern, Lantern Avarice, or any of the other ones. Put in the comments below, let me know. But thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I hope, um, as always, you want us to review something, put in the comments below, let us know, we'll do a review of it at some point. Hit that bell if you want notifications, and I'll see you Wednesday with just one who would win, or who would win, uh, what if. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Later.